Welcome back to Wealth Minds Elite, the place where we redefine success, one elite mind at a time. Today, we're diving into the foundational principles that set millionaires apart from the rest. Becoming a millionaire is more attainable than you think. We'll uncover the habits, attitudes, and strategies that can transform your financial future. No get-rich-quick schemes, just practical advice and actionable steps. Let's embark on this journey to wealth together. This video is packed with valuable insights to help you achieve your financial goals. The first step to becoming a millionaire is to start investing early and do it consistently. It's not just about how much money you make, but how hard that money works for you. That's where the power of compound interest comes into play. It's like a snowball effect. The earlier you start, the more time your money has to grow exponentially. If you invest $500 a month starting at 25, you'd have over a million dollars by 65. That's the magic of compounding. And hey, if you want to compound your knowledge, hit that subscribe button, because who doesn't want more videos telling you how to get rich, right? All right, let's talk about another crucial principle for building wealth, living below your means. I know it doesn't sound as glamorous as driving a fancy car or jet setting around the world, but trust me, it's the foundation of financial success. Living below your means simply means spending less than you earn and investing the difference. It's about making conscious choices about your spending habits and prioritizing long-term financial goals over instant gratification. Think about it. Do you really need that daily latte or that expensive gadget? Those small, seemingly insignificant expenses can add up over time, draining your bank account and preventing you from reaching your financial goals. Instead of falling into the trap of lifestyle inflation, where you increase your spending as your income grows, focus on maintaining a sustainable lifestyle that allows you to save and invest a significant portion of your earnings. Remember, it's not about depriving yourself, but about making smart choices that align with your financial goals. What's the easiest way to become a millionaire? Make saving automatic. Think of it like this. You automate your bills, right? So why not automate your wealth building too? I automatically send a portion of every paycheck straight to my investment accounts. It's like magic, but for your money. When you don't even see the money, you're way less likely to spend it. This strategy has helped me tremendously, and it can for you too. Most banks let you set this up easily online or through their app. This is one of the simplest yet most effective strategies for building wealth. Trust me, your future self will thank you for being so financially responsible. Remember, the goal is to make savings so effortless that you don't even have to think about it. Out of sight, out of mind, and into your investment portfolio, it all adds up over time. The sooner you start, the more you benefit from the power of compound interest. Even small amounts automated consistently can grow into a significant nest egg over time. All right, let's talk about boosting your income. Remember, your income is your biggest wealth building tool. Don't be afraid to explore those side hustles. We live in a time where you can literally monetize anything. Whether it's freelance work online, driving for a ride sharing service, or even starting your own online business, the possibilities are endless. A little side income can go a long way. I started my real estate career while working a full-time job, and it allowed me to invest more and achieve financial independence faster. And hey, even if you don't have a specific side hustle in mind, there are still ways to increase your income. Don't be afraid to negotiate a raise or explore higher paying opportunities in your field. Remember your worth and don't settle for less than you deserve. The more you earn, the more you can invest and the faster you can grow your wealth. It's all about creating multiple streams of income to secure your financial future. And speaking of securing your future, why not secure your daily dose of wisdom by subscribing to our channel? Because let's be honest, who doesn't want more unsolicited advice on the internet? You know, I always say, the best investment you can make is in yourself. And that includes investing in your financial education. Look, the world of finance can seem intimidating, but trust me, it doesn't have to be. There are tons of resources available online, from blogs and podcasts to books and courses. Take the time to learn about budgeting, investing, and managing your money effectively. The more you know, the better equipped you'll be to make smart decisions with your finances. Remember, financial literacy is not a one-time thing. It's an ongoing journey. 
Stay curious, keep learning, and never stop seeking ways to improve your financial knowledge. A strong financial education is your best defense against bad financial advice and costly mistakes. And the best part? You can often find a ton of this information for free. Start by checking out reputable sources like Investopedia, NerdWallet, or even my YouTube channel. The more you learn, the more confident you'll feel about managing your money and growing your wealth. All right, let's talk about setting clear financial goals, not just saying, I want to be rich. We're going to get specific here. Goals should be attainable and measurable. This is where the SMART method comes in. Specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Instead of I want to invest in real estate, think I want to buy a rental property in three years. Clear target, time frame, and plan. Write these goals down somewhere you'll see them every day. Constant reminder keeps you motivated and focused. Let's talk about diversification. Now, you might be tempted to go all in on that one hot stock tip you heard about, but trust me, that's a recipe for disaster. Remember, the name of the game here is to build long-term wealth, not gamble it all away on risky bets. Think of it like this. You wouldn't put all your money into a single investment property, would you? Of course not. You'd spread it out, diversify your portfolio, and minimize your risk. The same logic applies to your overall investment strategy. So what does diversification actually look like? It means investing in a mix of different asset classes like stocks, bonds, real estate, maybe even some index funds. The idea is that if one area of the market takes a hit, the others can help cushion the blow. Remember, diversification is key to mitigating risk and maximizing your potential for long-term growth. Don't put all your eggs in one basket, spread your investments wisely, and watch your wealth grow over time. And hey, if you want to diversify your knowledge and not put all your eggs in one basket, why not subscribe to our channel? Because, you know, who doesn't need more financial wisdom and a few laughs? Let's talk about something most people would rather avoid. Debt. Specifically, high interest debt, like credit cards. This stuff can be a real wealth killer, and it's one of the biggest obstacles to achieving financial freedom. Think of it this way. Every dollar you're paying in interest on those credit card balances is a dollar that's not working for you. It's not being invested. It's not growing your wealth. It's literally money down the drain. Now, I'm not saying all debt is bad. Sometimes taking on debt strategically can make sense, like when you're investing in a rental property or starting a business. But high interest consumer debt, that's the kind you want to avoid like the plague. If you're currently stuck in the credit card debt cycle, your number one priority should be to pay it off as quickly as possible. Look into things like balance transfers, debt consolidation loans, or even consider a side hustle to generate some extra income to throw at those balances. The sooner you break free from high interest debt, the sooner you can start building real, lasting wealth. Let's talk about long-term thinking. Getting rich quick is a myth. Wealth is a marathon, not a sprint. Make smart, consistent decisions. Like planting a tree, it takes time. Focus on the bigger picture. Time is your greatest asset. Trust me, the results will speak for themselves. All right, moving on to another crucial aspect of building wealth networking and building relationships. You've probably heard the saying, your network is your net worth. And let me tell you, it's absolutely true. Surrounding yourself with the right people can open doors to opportunities you never even knew existed. Think about it. When I started my real estate career, I didn't have a ton of experience, but I was eager to learn, and I made it a point to connect with other successful agents, mentors, and industry professionals. I attended conferences, joined networking events, and never hesitated to ask questions. Those connections I made early on proved invaluable to my success. They provided me with guidance, support, and even referrals. Remember, you're not just building a network, you're building a community. So, get out there and start connecting with people in your field. Attend industry events, and don't be afraid to reach out to those you admire. You never know where a simple conversation might lead. Now, let's talk about the glue that holds everything together. Discipline and consistency. You can have all the right strategies in place, but without discipline and consistency, you're setting yourself up for failure. Building wealth is a marathon, remember? 
And just like a marathon runner needs discipline and consistency to reach the finish line, you need the same to achieve your financial goals. Think of it like working out. You wouldn't expect to see results by going to the gym once a month, right? It's about showing up consistently and putting in the work, even when you don't feel like it. The same goes for your finances. It's about consistently sticking to your budget, investing regularly, and resisting the urge to make impulsive decisions. There will be times when the market dips, when you're tempted to splurge, or when you just want to give up. But it's during those moments that discipline becomes even more crucial. Remember why you started. Remind yourself of your goals and stay the course. Trust me, the power of consistent action over time is incredible. What's up, everybody? Let's talk about tax-advantaged accounts. These accounts, like 401k and IRAs, are like having a secret weapon in your wealth-building arsenal. Seriously, they can be a game-changer. The beauty of these accounts is that they allow your money to grow tax-free or tax-deferred, meaning you keep more of your hard-earned cash. It's like the government giving you a bonus for saving for your future. Who doesn't love that? And the best part is, contributing to these accounts is often easier than you think. Many employers offer 401k plans with employer matching, which is essentially free money. It's like getting a guaranteed return on your investment before you even start. So if you're serious about becoming a millionaire, maximizing your contributions to tax-advantaged accounts should be a top priority. Trust me, your future self will thank you. Now, let's talk about something equally important as your financial strategies, your mindset. You see, becoming a millionaire isn't just about luck or being born into wealth. It's about adopting a growth mindset. A growth mindset means embracing challenges, learning from your mistakes, and constantly seeking ways to improve yourself. It's about believing that you have the power to change your financial situation and achieve your goals. Think about it. Every successful person has faced setbacks and failures along the way. But what sets them apart is their ability to learn from those experiences and come back stronger. They don't let setbacks define them. They use them as fuel to propel themselves forward. So, cultivate a growth mindset, embrace the journey, and remember that financial success is a marathon, not a sprint. Stay focused, stay consistent, and you'll be amazed at what you can achieve. All right, Wealth Minds, let's talk about protecting what you've worked so hard to build. You wouldn't drive a car without insurance, right? The same goes for your financial well-being. Wealth Builder. Having the right insurance policies is crucial. We're talking health insurance, auto insurance, renters or homeowners insurance, and even disability insurance. These policies act as a safety net, protecting you from financial ruin in case of unexpected events. Next up, your emergency fund. This is your financial shock absorber, there to cushion the blow from life's unexpected expenses. A job loss, medical bills, car repairs. These things happen, and you need to be prepared. Wealth Builder. Ideally, aim for three to six months worth of living expenses in a readily accessible account. That's right. No dipping into your investments for these situations. Having this financial buffer will give you peace of mind and keep you on track towards your millionaire goals. Now let's dive into the cornerstone of a millionaire's success, the right mindset. You might wonder, how does mindset play a role in becoming a millionaire? Well, it's everything. Adopting a millionaire mindset means focusing on growth, resilience, and gratitude. Appreciate your current situation, no matter where you are on your financial journey. This mindset helps you avoid lifestyle inflation, where your spending increases with your income. When you're content with what you have, you're less likely to chase after every new gadget or fall into the comparison game. Remember, the real measure of your wealth is how much you'd be worth if you lost all your money. Be intentional with your spending and find joy in the journey, not just the destination. True wealth isn't just about the size of your bank account, it's about financial security, peace of mind, and living a fulfilling life and gratitude plays a big role in achieving all of that. Gratitude turns what we have into enough. That's it for today's video on the 15 ways average people become millionaires. Remember, building wealth is a marathon, not a sprint. It takes time, dedication, and the right strategies. 
Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more wealth building tips and tricks. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Let me know in the comments below which of these tips you found most helpful and what you're going to implement in your own life. Remember, the secret superpower is compound interest, and the sooner you start, the more powerful it becomes. Stay tuned for more wealth secrets and financial success tips. And hey, if you don't subscribe, your bank account might just stay average.